Un Academy. Let's crack it. I have to hit the bull's eye. So there is no other better way than to start by reading cat passages. So what I suggest generally is pick 20 years of cat passages. Don't solve the questions. Just give yourself a target of one month. And then read those passages. And there's another interesting thing over here. Like, you know, it, this is called going the extra mile, actually, if you're willing to do the hard work. So when you're reading one cat passage and you come across certain terms, Terms, terms and concepts which you're not familiar with. I'm not talking about words. Mm. I'm talking about concepts that you know. So you can just Google those concepts or maybe YouTube those and start building a repository of those 20 year cook. Uh, what should a typical day look like? Just uh, now three months away from CAT. How should my typical day look like in your opinion and then in your opinion? See, my thing is that like cat day shouldn't be new. Okay, so in exams like this, even like uh, all uh, this kind of exams like cat, ITG, everything. Okay, exam day should be absolutely same as what last hundred days look like. Okay, for example, I know that in cat, in quant, I'll get twenty-two questions. Okay, so let's make a habit of solving twenty questions every day in last hundred days. Okay, twenty new questions, twenty questions uh, covering some varieties. Okay, that like. We are feeling like in the touch. Your cat is like, I'm going to go 12 13 questions. Okay, and I get 99 percentile. So, mind response like daily 20 questions. Okay, so I'll study. It's not that fatigue. Okay, because especially quant make your day first 40 minutes is VRC, then 40 minutes is LRDI, and then 40 minutes is up quant. So, quant is a lot of fatigue. Okay, because mind like is constantly working for intensely for last. Two hours, okay. So, if mind ko rehte ki ab per day twenty questions kare ho, to aap setting nahi karna hai. That's perfectly fine. So it likes acha lagta hai, okay. So last hundred hundred ten days, just try to solve twenty quant questions per day. So that may be taking that will take around two to three hours of quant. Let's say for example, okay. Then you know ki cat me four LRD sets aane wala hai, right? Just solve three to four LRD sets every day, okay. So in last hundred days, if I'm doing that, okay. So, I have cat that I have to do two things. I have to do three things. I have to do three things. And you again feel relaxed. Okay. So, that means that will again take around two hours. Okay. So, the, a typical day would look like that you have to go in the morning. Mein, and just if you are going to like somebody will be uh, going to work or somebody is like completely free, somebody will be going to college. There are a lot of roles. But you need to find that two, two and a half hour slot for quant. That you have 20 questions. Kar sako. Maybe if you are going to a uh, job. That best slot is early in the morning. Okay, that good, good. That gives a good head start. Okay, after coming from work, give a two to two hour half and hour slot of LRDI, like three to four sets. Okay, and similar thing, I think ma'am will tell for VRC also. Okay, say so she needs that slot. Okay, and give around twenty five to thirty minutes of calculations every day. So just to cal because cat ke saath omits hui dena to kya hota na ki ab ab cat de raho. Now just suddenly cat is finished. So okay, cat finished. Now what? You can't place whole bit on cat only. Okay. So mind should run good. Cat may calculator. In other exams, there's no calculator. Okay. So 25 to 30 minutes of calculations per day would like uh, keep your mind active. And cat ke baad ab baki exam bhi because ultimately we are aiming for top 20 or 25 MBA colleges. Right. So that can be done through five different exams, not only cat. Okay. So cat is that supreme exam, but we have to be like in the, in the groove with all the other exams also. So, I need to take these two to three slots in a day. Two to two half hour of quant, two hours of LRDI, and 25 minutes of calculation. Okay, so I'm fine with that. Okay, and make sure that every third day, you are mock a mock. Okay, so give one mock in every third day, last 100 days. Okay, so just in mock, you have completed your target. Complete 20 questions, you have done quant mock. LRDI has done, so my target is done today. So, mock to analyze it. That's it. So that's how, uh, that is my requirement for last 100 days. Okay. Okay, for the last 100 days in VARC, what really works is not, not just in VARC, in fact, for all the other subjects as well, time-based. And of course, whatever extra Ravi sir said, I agree with all those things. But just to add to that, you have to give yourself time-based practice like almost every alternate day at least for VARC. So what I suggest is, okay, two days, you know, like QADI, LR, you do, and then like 
every alternate day give yourself like maybe just 40 minutes to 50 minutes of VARC time based practice but time based here is absolutely important because um, you know uh, if I talk about CAT as an exam uh, trust me it's not a difficult exam because in maths also you don't get engineering level questions in reasoning it's like thoda sa seek le to aap reasoning bhi kar sakte hain and even in English it's like once you get familiarity with the questions and the concepts and all that you're likely to encounter it is a very doable question however the pura locha that happens on the d-day is about how to stay calm and manage time that's the whole problem like just think about it in 40 minutes you get 24 questions even if you have to um, solve 16 questions and 40 minutes you have so it's like you know it works out to less than three minutes per question so that's the whole thing. So what I feel is in the last 100, 100 days, change your entire schedule for VARC. Don't focus just on classes, batches, courses, questions, passages. No, just give yourself calm time. Sit and meditate for like, you know, a few minutes. Think that, yes, I can do it. VARC is doable. And yes, 30 to 40 minutes of time-based practice means you set the timer. And yes, here one, one very important thing that I keep reiterating in the classes also, put the timer away. Mm. In these 100 days, if you do not train yourself how to not look at the timer, what happens? The student does the practice, he keeps looking at the timer mm. and then he keeps panicking. So mm. instead of being productive, he's actually being non-productive. So you can actually train your brain very well in these things. I have done it in my life, so I know anybody can. So 100 days especially, for time and for not looking. Train your brain. An Academy. Let's crack it. An Academy. Let's crack it.